Wow, here's the old rail. Time to go get some cheeseburgers in paradise. Does it taste like paradise? Pretty nice. We just woke up and I heard a and it's a manatee right next to the boat. Billy was just flying the drone to try to get some drone footage of the manatee in this super cool spot for you. And the drone went in the water. So now he's got to go dive in and get it because I think we have insurance on it, but we have to be able to recover it in order to get a new one. Wah, wah, wah. The drone battery went from 55% to 0% with no warning. All of a sudden it starts beeping and I tried to fly it over to the boat and I got it all the way to the dinghy and hit the dinghy and just plopped in the water. Like zero warning. Just 55% battery, 0% battery, critically low, blah, blah, blah. It happened twice in a row. The first time, luckily, it was still over the trampoline, so it just landed right back on the trampoline. And the second time you flew it around us to make sure it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, the second time I flew the drone a little bit, like right here, to make sure it was not just reading the battery incorrectly so and I did for like maybe a minute or two and then I flew it out a little bit and then all of a sudden zero battery critical alert blah 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 ah oh, it's so frustrating first dive <laughs> is it clear? Not really. I just got lucky. We moved spots yesterday to this sweet little cove all by ourselves again. Fish jumping all around, birds all around, manatee coming up this morning. Really cool spot. I really wanted to show you guys from the drone because it would have been an awesome perspective in here, but fortunately I lost that this morning. But we're gonna go over to the beach right over here. There looks like a little access point. Someone who watches our channel who works over here gave us a heads up about, well actually Charlie, our friend Charlie on Rosiet, that trawler, he uh, he told us about this spot. And then the guy yesterday who also watches our channel told us that this used to be like some sort of ship or boat repair place on this island at some point back in the day. And there's still like the old rails that they used to get the boats up up the beach um, somewhere around here so we're gonna go look for them and just explore this this little spot Kaya Costa's over here and our friends our other fellow YouTube friends sailing Solianus are anchored over there we saw them yesterday we got to catch up a little bit we went to Kaya Costa yesterday unfortunately they don't let dogs on the beach so that was a little frustrating but we at least got to walk around on the trails with Jetty and and check it out a little bit maybe we'll go back there again today or maybe we'll go somewhere else, maybe back to that love tunnel place where we could get to the beach um, with with Jetty. I also heard that the place that Jimmy Buffett wrote Cheeseburgers in Paradise about is right around the way, so maybe we'll go there for dinner. It's a little little restaurant, old Florida style they call it, called uh, Cabbage Key, on Cabbage Key. So yeah, maybe we'll check that out as well. I want to get a cheeseburger in paradise. Apparently cheeseburgers are really good. Right, we're gonna just row over, it's right over there. What year is that? It looks like 86. Well, right? Yeah, yeah, 15. Beautiful. Good job, they just redid it. Okay. I think that Cabbage Key, I think it's this one right here. We could go anchor right in front of it and just stay to it. Anchor over on that side? Yeah. yeah. Those are like banana trees. Here, let's go. 
Are they banana trees? But they look cool. They definitely don't look like something that would be right on the beach. Looks like it should be in a rainforest. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Look at that thing. It's huge. This is like some of that old, what the guy was talking about. Maybe. Old rail stuff. Look, Jesse's heaven. What are they? Sea beans. They're huh. the mermaid pearls. Oh, yeah. Look. So our friend Jesse collects these sea beans and makes like really beautiful art out of them. And that's where they come from. Show them how they were like sitting and they're like everywhere. It looks like a bird's egg, honest. A bird's nest. Ow! But they're, they're very everywhere. spiky. Look, that whole thing is sea beans. Yeah, that's a whole sea bean tree. Wow. That's like a gold mine. How many should we pick? They look heavy. Wow, here's the old rail. Yeah, that, that's it. So back in the day, they must use those rails to pull boats out up on this island and I don't know, I guess do repairs on them. Look at all these sea beans that's here. It's a sea bean forest. What the heck? They're everywhere. I guess I should get some history on this place. Anyway, we saw a lot of those rail type things back way up in Wareham, Massachusetts when we were getting the the 880 with uh, Bob Gleason and Ira at the multi oil source. They're on Cape Cod Shipbuilders property, and that whole property had a bunch of rails. And it was that's how they used to, when they built ships or repaired ships, that's how they get them in and out of the water, with it pulling them like probably on a tractor with that rail, which is pretty dang cool. Anything else? Yeah. So we really like treasure hunting, or we really want to become treasure hunters. <laughs> We've never treasure hunted. <laughs> we really want to become them, but we Mostly like finding you. like shark teeth and fossils and all this kind of stuff. But one thing that we really want to get into is bottle hunting, like super old bottles. And I feel like we're always in the right places to find these old bottles, but we don't know how to look. So if anybody is a bottle finding specialist, let us know how we need to perfect our bottle hunting game. Because I want to find bottles. Right? There you go. A dolphin came up literally like right next to the beach. And back up. Yeah, those birds. Whoa, those are cool birds. Then you want to go to UM? That's their mascot. The ibis. Yeah. Do holes mean that there's worms eating it? Yeah, we probably shouldn't bring it. You're just saying that so we don't have oh. Well, they're probably worms from when it was in the water, but could have a lot of bugs in it still. Sierra wants to collect all this cool beach uh, driftwood and shells for our wedding next year. But uh... But a what? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> she wants to use it all for like centerpieces for the table. Which would be very cool. We just gotta drag it around for another year. This is like shell heaven. Look at this guy. You always gotta check to make sure nobody's in there because if you put them on the boat, it'll start to smell. <laughs> That's his nest right there. That's so cool. Look at him. You're so brave. Go get it. We just pulled up the hook. We're gonna go over, anchor right in front of Cabbage Key and try out some of the supposedly the cheeseburgers in paradise that Jimmy Buffett wrote his song about. So that's right over here. Just be a little bit easier getting here by, by this boat instead of the dinghy. And then I think we'll come back. We're leaving this beautiful little cove. I think we might go anchor behind the sand spit after that this evening. And the wind's supposed to pick back up and maybe we'll have enough wind to kiteboard over there. So. It'd be pretty neat kiteboarding in some super flat water right next to this boat, right behind a, a sand spit. 
supposedly gators over there, but I'm not afraid. That's where we're gonna go, and we can already smell it. We have this, uh, we just pulled up real quick. I left the bridle on. We've just been using the spare line we've had, just doing rolling hitches on the anchor ro uh, road to set up this bridle, and then off the two bows. And when you do it that way, right off the front of the bows, it's been keeping the boat nice and pointed into the wind without it swinging so much. Without that, just off the cleat, like one line off the cleat, the boat swings around like crazy. Time to go get some cheeseburgers in paradise. You ready? Let's hit it. <laughs> I'm a little more graceful than that usually. Cheeseburger in paradise. You think we'll get a copyright claim if we sing it? I like mine with lettuce and tomatoes. Come on. Cheeseburger <laughs> in paradise. Something, something, something and french fried potatoes. A big kosher pickle and a din and din. Our engine matches the boat. Yeah, and our dog. This is gonna be fun. We're going on a date. Our first date out. Back living on a boat, I think. Basically. Ooh, do you smell it? Yeah. How good does that smell? I was expecting to be like this crowd. Well, Florida's the only state open. Oh, we have nothing to pass. There's a third coming. I think inside is where they have like all the dollar bills hung. What's the dollar bills for? I don't know, just like in the Bahamas, the bars have hanging do dollar bills. <laughs> He's just cruising, man. Where's he going? Back to his den. Taking a stroll. All right, we got some fish dip. What do you got? Triple tail over beans and rice. Looks mighty fine. And I got the famous cheeseburger. Does it taste like paradise? Pretty good. I'm impressed. Mm. How's the triple tail? Really good. We're pretty picky about perfectly cooked fish, and I'd say this is pretty perfectly cooked. He's on the move again. Want to climb the water tower? That's something they do in country songs. What? Climb the water tower? Paint your name on a water tower. You've listened to a few more country songs than I have. A lot of the islands all around here all had water towers, or a lot of them had water towers. Some were steel and some were wood, like this one is wood. And this one's the only one that hasn't been destroyed by a storm. Um, although they said it has some severe or had some severe damage from Hurricane Charlie in 2004. Here we are at the top. This is as far as we go. So it must be right above us, huh? Got some cool views. You can't see the trimaran, but it is right behind the tree right there. And Kaya Costa's over that way. 
And that's north. That's south. See? Oh, we're just walking down the nature trails around Cabbage Key here. Pretty cool place, I gotta say. Definitely a much busier restaurant than I was expecting. I was expecting like a little hole in the wall with really good burgers. And it was a busy, like busy place. A beach shack, yeah. Like but it was cool. I would definitely recommend everyone do it at least once. Burgers and food were really good. Although we didn't hear any Jiffy and Buffett music playing while we ate. I'm just gonna finish up this little nature walk here, head back to the boat, and then probably find a different spot. Because why not? Why not move three times in one day? Tomorrow, I think we'll probably be on the move to head south a little bit more. On to the next spot. I hope you guys are enjoying us being back to boat life. We're enjoying it. We are enjoying it. <laughs> Which spots is our new home for the for the evening? What do you think? Pretty cool, pretty cool. We had some friends recognize us over here, so they came over to say hi. And then we have this other boat over here, an older 24-foot uh, Corsair. So we were just chatting with those guys for a little bit, which is pretty cool. But this is where we're going to spend the night. Just pulled up right onto the beach. We'll probably put a stern anchor out the back, although the wind is supposed to switch heading offshore. So it just kind of push off, off the sand a bit. This would be a perfect kiteboarding spot right here. If the wind switched this direction, like pretty hard, 15 to 20 knots or more, and I could just kite right back here in this nice smooth water. And I was hoping it was supposed to do that tonight, but it's looking like it's not gonna happen before it gets dark, unfortunately. But we'll just have to come back another time when, when it's windier. Our friends didn't just come by to say hi, they came by to invite us to game night. So we're gonna go to game night. Just to give you guys a better idea of where exactly we are, this is Kaya Costa right here. All of this is Kaya Costa state park and you get over there by a dock over there really nice area and then all these boats behind me are all anchored this is actually a really nice anchorage definitely seems like a very popular cruising spot to stop and our friends on solianus are right i think they're right there Really, really neat spot. The west coast of Florida has been impressing us. I didn't know what to expect. We've never cruised over here. I've been to like St. Pete, like for paddleboard races and stuff, just by car. There's a lot of waterways and the Gulf is beautiful and a lot of beautiful islands and places to go and anchorages. Would it's you... almost like a lower, lower key version of the Keys. Yeah, like we're, we've been to the Keys plenty of times, but it feels like there's more freedom here because there's more beaches like yeah it seems a little more undeveloped and there's more like beaches and i don't know just Not to diss the keys in any way we love the keys it's just different yeah a little bit different but very impressed we, we definitely like cruising here on the west coast of florida so far tomorrow we're gonna head down to a place called estero bay um we're gonna pass by captiva and sanibel and that whole area and go right to Estero Bay. Our friends are right in the area, so we really want to link up with our friends. I heard Estero Bay is pretty, um, a pretty area, and I think it's a relatively shallow, shallow bay, but depth has not been a problem for us whatsoever in this boat. And then from there, I don't know, we got a heads up on a bunch of little spots along like the Everglades on our way down towards the Keys. So we'll probably like duck in there a little bit and check out some of those spots. There's some more spots around here we want to explore, but Again, we could spend a month here and probably explore everything. There's supposed to be some like Indian mounds and stuff around here, but it's time to move on. All right, you guys, we're gonna go play cards with some of our cruising friends. And uh, we just wanna thank you guys so much for watching as always. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. It really helps us out. Let us know if you like this video, what you like about it or what you didn't like about it in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.